are live. Danny, thank you so much for joining me today. Absolutely, Victoria. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm so excited to have you here. You know, currently the CEO of B Leads. Um, you know, that is the first streamlined self serve platform within the lead and revenue generation space. Uh, I know you have a lot of experience abroad. You know, living and working on multiple continents. So, would love to understand a little bit more about you and your background and how you know your international perspective has influenced uh, your work with B Leads. So, again, thank you so much for joining me. Absolutely. So uh, living on multiple continents actually gives you um, the appreciation for diversity mm. and, and and various value driven perspectives, right, to approach situations and problem solve in a very unique way. Um, and before this, I also worked with uh, Demand Matrix, where I was the chief operating officer that was acquired by Demand Base. Mm. And Right now, I'm just like, like you said, I'm working with B Leads and I'm the CEO and I'm, I'm creating marketing technology that helps companies generate what matters the most to them, which is revenue. Gotcha. So, you know, within your experience as a chief operating officer of Demand Matrix, um, is that where you first started to kind of identify those challenges within the revenue generation space? Talk to me about how you even, you know, were aware of these issues. Absolutely. So I started off generating appointments for enterprise tech clients when I was um, in college, when I was pursuing mm -hmm. my business degree. And I truly enjoyed selling and helping customers. And once you start to get the lay of the land, get to know the business more, then um, you, you start to identify problems and everybody has their unique way of solving. So we, we, we are trying to create it in a different way. Gotcha. So tell me about, you know, what is that difference? Absolutely. So revenue generation is challenging, right? Especially when there are so many tools out there with great functionalities. Mm -hmm. And it, it's like renovating your house. Um, you, you buy furniture from one place, you buy curtains from another place. And then there's Walmart where you can get everything just under mm -hmm. one roof. Yeah. So it's made life easy for all of us. So since the past 20 years, there's been a lot of technology development that's been happened with these various tools. And for generating revenue, marketers today have to procure opt-in contacts and then use different marketing and sales tools to actually generate revenue. And it's very challenging to integrate all of these different tools. And it takes a lot of engineering and marketing hours to do that. And that's when it hit me, right? Why isn't there one Walmart for revenue generation right i love that and who doesn't love a trip to walmart right exactly. <laughs> you you saw this huge challenge or you know this huge gap in the market um so is that really what inspired you to start b leads talk to me about you know what that looked like for you right so um i i worked as an appointment setter myself then i created a data analytics company and then uh, with with demand matrix and i realized that there are certain gaps that people aren't addressing or they don't want to address as a part of the system mm -hmm. because nobody wants to just recreate and change the status quo the way it is right now, right? It's 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 challenging, but what's what's life without a challenge, right? <laughs> I love that. Yeah, I know it's probably difficult to have users adapt to this new type of product, but what has that been like for you so far on your journey? There's a lot of education that, that needs, you have to scale technology, you have to scale people. And then, but, but I think that's every business, right? But I'm glad that we have a very close knit team, some great clients that support us, enterprise tech clients that support us, inspire us. And that's why these challenges become really fun to solve. That's awesome. So talk to me, I guess, a little bit more about the specifics of maybe getting your first client. What did that look like for you? Um, and yeah, what was that process like? Wow. So I was already in the same space. Um, I just called one of my friends and I was like, hey, I'm starting this company. These are how we do things differently. Are you interested? And he's like, yeah, Danny, you're my friend. I'm just going to give you the project. <laughs> right? And that's that's how we got the first project. But then over a period of time, uh, great relationships with customers, making sure that uh, we are asking the right questions, solving the right problems for them um, has has been the success driver for us. Gotcha. Yeah. So it sounds like then incorporating that customer feedback into the product has been really valuable for you. 
Absolutely. Without, without customer feedback, we wouldn't have the product at mm-hmm. all. Yeah, certainly. So what kind of feedback have you gotten from customers so far? Um, customers love the project because um, there, there's a lot of missing pieces that we are able to solve. Number one, that content syndication is not self-serve. Today, clients are able to launch their own campaigns, upload their own content, uh, customize their campaign the way they want without having to work with another customer success manager at a company. Uh, That's been the biggest differentiator. Mm. Second, speed and the quality. Just because technology does 80% of the job within our systems, customers are realizing that the efficiency is better. Every, everybody likes texting more than talking to people on the phone, right? And and that's the same principle that we've adopted and put into lead generation today. And so what then does success look like for you with B-Leads? What, what are your goals for growth? I think we are just getting started. Yeah. Um, I would say we are 20% there where we want to be because today we are, we've created that streamlined process to generate demos and leads for customers. And now we are mapping the customer journey from that point of contact or a person with a pulse to actually help them buy and generate revenue, right? And it's all been incorporated with the customer feedback that we are getting today on and on. So um, we were trying to take it slow, but we are trying to do the right thing to make sure that you can generate revenue for customers. Gotcha. Yeah, no, certainly. And yeah, you do obviously want to make see, see that kind of return. Um, so I guess, you know, with where you are today, I understand you might be fundraising right now. How's that process going? Um, and yeah, I guess, what are your goals there? Absolutely. So today uh, we are looking to raise funds from uh, either somebody from our space or somebody who's very as enthusiastic as us. Um just to give uh, technology and people a little more boost to do things in in an accelerated way. Certainly. Yeah. That that, that financing piece definitely helps, you know, you scale at an appropriate pace. Um, So I I know it definitely comes with its challenges on its own, but you're, you obviously have that demonstrated traction um, and positive, you know, user feedback. So I think that always, that always helps the case you know, on your side, what is some advice that you might have for founders who are in a similar position um, or who are in those early stages of building a company? Absolutely. The one thing that's helped me in personally is that you cannot think of something that cannot be done. You're not that smart, right? Mm -hmm. So probably if you've, if you've thought of something, you wondered about something, or you can think of something that can happen, just 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 go for it and do it because if you're not going to then you're ne- never going to be able to find out right if it can be done or not and make sure that you have enough cash flow to run the business otherwise it's hard thank you so much for you know talking me through your story a little bit danny i know that our listeners are going to be really excited um by what you've shared today um and i'm so excited to see where b leads goes next absolutely thanks for having me Julia. thank you so much 